What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new City Installer update, as well as explain what it does. So if you guys follow me on Twitter, I actually tweeted this out last night, so you may have already updated, but a lot of people were asking me, you know, what does this update do, why am I updating this, all that good stuff. Well, if you actually read what is in the description here of this update, it kind of tells you exactly what it does. But to kind of give you an idea of showing you what it does, as well as explaining it, basically, previously, Cydia was ran as root. So every time you open up the application, it was ran as root. Now at this point, it's actually run as mobile. So that's going to basically give the developers the ability to theme Cydia for us. So we can install tweaks and they're going to take effect within Cydia. So usually when you download a tweak and you open up Cydia, no changes take effect to Cydia. Cydia is usually exactly the same all the time. You're not gonna see any type of UI changes. You're not gonna see any type of keyboard uh, themes that you have on your device take effect while you're in City, and that's due to Cydia being ran as root. So I've actually already installed this, and you can see the change that has already taken effect. I've added Zeppelin to my device, and you can see that I actually show the Zeppelin logo up here in the status bar, which you would normally not see within Cydia. Also, you can see if I go to search, and I hit the search bar, you can see that I have just a themed keyboard, which I'm not really a huge fan of just because of the gradient, but Again, I'm just showing you that this does work in Cydia. Now, the first thing that a lot of people are doing, and the thing that I did very first, was go install Eclipse 2. Now, Eclipse 2, if you don't know what it does, it basically themes all applications and makes it look like night mode, basically. So if we enable this and we quit all applications, you'll see when I open up Cydia that it's going to theme inside Cydia as well. Now, it's not going to look that great, because it hasn't been optimized for Cydia just yet. Hopefully, the developer will update this for Cydia and we can get a really awesome looking night mode for Cydia. Now, you can see right here that if we go over into installed, you can kind of see what it could look like. Of course, the color of the text needs to be changed from black to you know something else, obviously. But you can see that Cydia is completely themable at this point. So that means there's gonna be a lot of developers that are gonna be pushing out tweaks and themes for Cydia to make Cydia look like we want it to, basically. Because we really haven't had a drastic overhaul of what Cydia looks like since I don't even know when. Uh, we did get a small UI change back, I think, in iOS 7, but again, it's not going to be anything like what developers are going to push out in the coming weeks. So let me know what you guys think about the new city installer and if you guys really want a different looking city. I think it's going to be pretty awesome, and I really hope that Frost, the developer of Eclipse 2, is actually going to push out an update for Cydia because I think it's going to look really great. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, until next time. Peace.